Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Meta Puzzle by Dester Uchter. The symmetry of this chamber was a little broken when I corrected the unwanted glitches and wrong solutions, but I think that it still looks good. As usual, no glitch using. And F6 and F7 to save your time and nerves. Fix, I was forced to put a laser lattice at the exit because the door jams sometimes. Alright. Now, Dister has told me that the maps we've played thus far were rather old, and that his new maps, such as this one, should be better. I guess we'll- we'll just have to see. Decorative, I suppose. What do we have over here? A laser into goo. And a rather obvious place where we have to use the light bridge. This can be achieved just as easily with, uh... You know, just making this portal the laser around, but uh, interesting variation. So we'll have to get a. So if I'm understanding this correctly, we will actually have to physically go down there with a laser cube. That's not going to be fun at all. We have to put like the light bridge like right there. I guess aim at that, and then we won't be able to get out without the laser cube dropping into the goo. All right. Lots of portal surfaces in this room, though. I'm just trying to think of ways to circumvent that. And here is an example laser cube. Where does that go to? Something up there? Why would... That makes it so we can get to the exit. Why would I ever... Why would I ever do anything different? Also, what's- what's the other direction here? Okay, so there is glass here. I didn't see the glass here. I thought we could just walk to the exit, but nope. And this is required for the exit, so we'll leave that there for now. Actually, no, wait, we'll want to move it somewhere else. That turns off the sizzler. Interesting. I wonder why. Okay. So what's up with this button? <laughs> yeah, uh, you want to put the glass on the inside, not the outside, because if you have the glass on the outside, like you have it right now, then uh, there's little, little teeny tiny gaps in the glass that you can interact through and shoot through. But if you move the glass to the inside, like at least this glass here and this glass here, if you move them to the inside, uh, instead of the outside, that'll fix the problem. So, obviously we're not so supposed to be able to get that just yet, because it'll roll into there every single time. So what do we want to do first, actually? I guess we could get the cube and use it to block the, uh... Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we could easily get the cube out of here. So let's, let's work on that. Well, that was a failure. I can- <laughs> I can get that eventually. But, uh, it's gonna take a couple tries. There we go. Maybe we can get this to work. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. It's always so hard to do this. It is possible. It just takes a bit... of effort. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're not gonna do it that way. Uh... How about we infinite loop it instead? Yeah, there we go. That'll work. I'm just gonna hope that I can take this in time. There we go. That worked. Get over here. So now, we can use the cube to block the edge of a safety cube from going into the goo. Oh no, it's not reflective. 
You- you have incurred the wrath of Hugo, my friend. By making it non-reflective. How did you even manage that? Oh, there's a- there's other goo over there, that's right. Alright, so now, put this here. I guess. And... who knows where we need this cube be. Might even be done with it, don't even know. I'll put it there for now. What does this fizzler... if anything? Oh, this does, okay. Well, that's easy enough. Just swap the cubes. Alright, so now... Now we gotta do this part, and I don't even know... I should probably pay attention, so that's square and dot. Where's dot? We need to go on another dot hunt. Oh, here's square and dot. How am I supposed to do this... in any sort of... meaningful way? Because... Like... Put this... I put this here... I guess I could get the... regular cube. I can kinda... see maybe what I need to do, but it involves... the regular cube, because if I can't pick this up... Oh, I can pick this up! Okay, well that answers that question. Alright. That lets us cross here, but as soon as I do this, the laser cube is going to fizzle, so we need to figure out... So the regular cube has to be back there... ...and the laser cube has to not fizzle... ...because if it does, it'll close off the exit. How are we going to make that happen? Yeah, cause this- this will go to that. Huh. Wait, moon. What is- what is moon? Oh, there's a laser grid there as well? How is this- how is this supposed to work? I'm a bit confused... on the concept here. We'll- we'll work out our confusion. Eventually. Let's put this back on the safe zone. Right about there-ish. There we go. That way it won't fizzle. And let's- let's just try putting this guy through the fizzler. Yeah, he's gonna go all the way back over here. And I'm pretty sure we want that, right? So don't use this anymore. Yeah, okay, so... That's where the faceplate lands us at. We have to do something in that room... If I'm understanding this correctly... Actually, I think I want the regular cube out here. So let's go do that again. Portal there, portal there, and we'll do... We'll do this. And this, there we go. Easy enough. So, if we have this guy with us, then the laser grid is off, correct? Yes, and we can fizzle it whenever we want. Okay, I'll leave this here, for now. This is the part that still confuses me, though. I don't see any way to get around doing this. I guess I could try and be clever. Let's, let's try and- let's try and be clever and try breaking it. Like... It's not gonna work, but, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Yeah, well, there's no way we can hit both at once. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is the most extreme angle that we can get right now. Alright. Cleverness won't work. Let's- let's just go for it. Maybe- maybe next Machina will happen, who knows. We put this... right there. Oh, it's a little bit too high. Yeah, it's a little bit too high. Alright. Oh, you are kidding me. Ah, <sighs> well... <laughs> Valve... I don't understand why Valve made the portal surfaces just slightly larger than they needed to be. That makes no sense to me. So we'll put this... like... I don't know, I guess we'll do it on this side. Maybe that'll work. Let's get the music back. Wow, did it actually pick the same song? I think it did. That's nice. Okay, now it's hitting both, so let's save. And... figure out what to do with this part. If I do... if I do... If I run for the exit, I might... Yeah, hmm. So then what am I supposed to do? Because there's... Like, I could try and grab this cube through here, but I'm pretty sure it's not intended to do this. Yeah, that is something I can do. But I'm pretty sure it's not intended. By any means of the word. We can't- we can't do that. How else would you do it? I mean, this is also basically reset the puzzle mostly. Which is quite a nuisance. There's no way to, like, get a light bridge into here. This fizzler never turns off, as far as I'm aware. What's with this grating, though? I wonder... Surely not. We walk out here, right? Interesting, why would there be grating there? It's totally not necessary. But yet, there it is. There's no hope of shooting underneath it, though. That's for sure. What if I just try and make a run for it again? Come on. And nope. Definitely can't just make a run for it. Hmm. Do we even need this light bridge over here? Yeah, because we can't sing ourselves. Interesting, why is this portable and this not? <laughs> he even had to put glass on that side, not this side. Strange. This super never turns off as far as I'm aware. What if I just fizzle this cube and then don't walk in? Yeah, exactly what I thought would happen.
So then what could we do... ...other than what I've already done? Because at this point we're 15 minutes in, and I'm out of ideas. Does this require the floating laser cube glitch? I mean... No glitch using, so we- yeah, would not require the floating la laser cube glitch. That's- that's certainly... something that we can know for sure. So it does not require that. Do we need to use this for anything? How would we get this out? Oh, I know. I know! Alright, so first we need to... I figured it out, guys! I know the solution! It's actually really outside of the box. I have to admit, that's actually quite clever. So let's put this back here first, so now that's in a safe place. And, uh, you still need to go back inside. Go all the way over here. Put this guy on this button. Bam! That's how you do it. Then. Bam! Take this with us. All the way around here. Bam! Now we can get both of them out of here. Let's put that... ooh... There-ish. Ah, it doesn't matter. It'll- it'll roll around either way. And then, we need to put that over there, whatever. And we are gonna have to actually recall the laser cube, so... What I did was completely pointless. Oh, hey, you finally stayed. Let's just get you... back there. So now... here... go there... and what we actually want to do... is take this guy inside... because this guy has an interesting property in that it can go here... without actually activating... the button and it'll prevent the cube from activating it, which is the entire point of the puzzle. Alright, now we can take this guy out. There we go. And now, you will save the day. Just sit there, and that'll be good. Let's put this guy over here, because that's where he's gonna need to be. Da-da-da-da! And now... Put this guy in here. That'll work, that'll do. That'll do. Let's actually make sure that's at the lowest. Yeah, that'll- that'll work, probably. Oh, come on now. Don't- don't be this way, game. Valve! Come on, Valve. Why you gotta be this way, Valve? This is- this is, like, beyond cruel. Like, everything in, <laughs> in Puzzle Maker is aligned in just enough to annoy the fire out of me. Oh my gosh, I had this working before! There we go! I- uh, Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> Please, don't do that to me. Uh... There we go, I'll take that. Ah, <sighs> alright. Now! Here comes the finishing touches. Ta-da! That's pretty cool, I actually like that. Let me- let me add that to my favorites. 
Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!